Five years after a wildfire destroyed most of the northern California town of Paradise, the community is returning to life, but it's still far from the place it was before the historic blaze, the campfire killed 85 residents and leveled about 11,000 homes in the Sierra Nevada foothills town on November 8, 2018. Displacing most of the 26,000 people who lived there. So far, only about 2,400 homes have been rebuilt in since the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California's history. About 700 are under construction at any one time, many on original lots. But just six of the town's 36 mobile home parks that serve mostly low income and older residents have reopened. The town now has more than 9,000 people living there. That fire hit us hard, and it came on us quickly. It's sobering. And there's some people that have a real problem with coming back and having to possibly deal with that again. That was a two story, totally different look. I personally feel like it doesn't matter where you go, you're going to have some, some type of issues. I can't think of any other place I'd rather be than living in paradise. Neither my store is Bobby's Christine, and my late husband's name is Bob. A few lawn chairs. <laughs> Got it. Well, I, as I told you, I lost everything I had in the fire, and I wanted to rebuild. I wanted to open up, reopen my businesses. As far as Nick's Deli and Wine Bar, I wanted to have a place where after the fire and the tragedy, people could feel welcome and feel comfortable and feel normal. And what's amazing to me right now, after almost five years, is how many people that actually moved away and are now moving back. On the space next to me and Mama. Oh, he says, Lord, they want you to have this. She says, you win. And it was Patsy. Well, I have been, well, I've been whispering my name. To our home of 40 years where we raised our kids and everything, we lost it. And practically every friend that we had lost their homes. But if I hadn't had the theater, to really concentrate on, I think it would have been a lot harder. Well, I have always prided myself on being a get or done girl, but you pulled this off in 24 hours? I got everything I could ever want right here. My dad, my daughter, my granddaughter. We're such a resilient community and such a close community that, um, that I think that the, you know, the theater played a really important part in the, in the healing of the community after the fire year but close anyway close enough they told us to get out we got out right there oh yeah we couldn't afford to move back up there it's too expensive you know most be places San Jose or something pretty soon. It, it's going to be only the rich that are going to be able to live up there I think of the fire as a monster yep. and that it's going to come and get us again someday. So I'm just waiting. I hope not, but it kind of makes you feel like it's going to come and get you someday again. I like give it away. It's all just give it away. It gives them everything away. <laughs> so what's your next one going to be? I'm going to do this. Okay. 
I think so. I think what we really found here is a community that we love. Um, the actual home does have its risks that we're taking on. We are surrounded by trees. This is where a pocket that has not burned at all. And so it's high risk for us. But we are really happy with the Paradise community and the home is really peaceful and beautiful. Well, if you get extra points for colors, then maybe you should do it yeah. to make up for that book report. <laughs> Having the deer in the backyard, a 15 minutes drive to get up to a lake, uh, swimming holes, you know, again, the friendly people, it's, it makes it worth it to me. I'm just actually trying to capture the hope of paradise, that it is growing and there is a lot of hope. In fact, towards the end is the daffodils, which is the flower of hope. And so, like I said, it brought this great community spirit. I mean, out of the ashes is rising this beautiful phoenix.